Hey there, if you liked the video, please click that like button. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Hey everybody, just recently received this Victor AC960 action camera. I want to do a quick review on it. Um, obviously we get the manual, and this camera, like many others, comes with lots and lots of mounts. Something kind of unique that this one comes with is a lens cover. I thought that was pretty different. This one does accept an external microphone and they give you that as well. And then straps it has the little remote and a bunch of different mounts. Bike mount, straps, helmet mounts, um, all the various ones sticky kind. It comes with two batteries. One of them I already put in and then the camera itself. Another kind of unique feature this one has is it can go underwater I think up to eight meters without the um, waterproof case. So it's waterproof on its own to some extent. And then this one does have a screen on the front. That is another interesting feature. You power it on, you get a pretty typical menu. Um, we've seen this menu before on the last camera review I did. Um, video resolutions, it has a lot of the same. Um, 4K at 60 frames per second, all the way down to 720 at 60, and then you can get up to 240 at 720 for a little bit of slow motion, and then up to 120 at 1080p for um, a bit of slow motion there as well and then again like i said it does have the extra microphone and uh, this one doesn't appear to have an option to change the um, angle of the lens it's a 170 degree lens so it doesn't look like it has an option to change that it's just set at the wide angle all the time it has that distortion calibration to get rid of that fisheye effect um, and then it also has electronic image stabilization image stabilization i'm sorry <laughs> Uh, but those two can't be used together. It's one or the other. Um, and then it has slow motion video, wind noise, redu wind noise reduction uh, feature, um, and then fast motion, time lapses. So it does a lot of different things. Um, and then up top here, if you press and hold the button, it switches to the other screen, which I'm going to duck out of the way because I don't want to see myself. Um, but then you get that other screen to light up so you can do um, kind of a selfie mode if you're into video vlogging or things like that and then you have your shutter button power button on the side all the little doors have a little button release and then they have some waterproof seals um, so that's how I guess they're achieving that waterproof feature um, without the case so let's go ahead and I'll head outside and do some test shots with it and uh, see if I, I'll get you um, some shots without stabilization, some with it turned on, um, at, and I'll start at 1080p at 30 and then go all the way up to the, the highest setting um, and do some test shots and hopefully gives you a pretty good idea what you can expect there from this camera. One more thing I wanted to mention before I head outside, because um, I have seen this question come up before, um, the SD card size that this will accept. Um, so it goes from 16 gigabytes all the way up to 128. So that's the max on this one, um, in case anybody's wondering. All right, let's head outside. All right, so we're gonna start with 1080p, 30 frames per second without image stabilization turned on. So this is just me holding the camera as still as I can. There's a little baby deer here. Smile, you're on camera. Yeah, wiggle your tail. Wiggle your tail and smile. Okay, I'm not going to chase the deer, so I'm going to go back the other way. Don't want to scare them too bad. <laughs> so we'll switch to uh, image stabilization turned on. 
All right, still 1080p, 30 frames per second. Now we have image stabilization turned on. See how that is. Based on the little screen, it definitely does look a lot smoother. <laughs> Go up some stairs here. Now we're at 1080p, 60 frames per second. I turned off stabilization again. I'll go ahead and turn it back on. Just so you can see if there's any difference in quality there. I know sometimes the electronic image stabilization features cut the video down a little bit to get that smooth, smoother uh, playback. All right, I'll switch to 4 All right, 4K, 30 frames per second with stabilization off. go ahead and turn it back on. There it is on. We'll switch to 60 frames. So here's 4K at 60 frames per second and stabilization off. So this is basically the highest quality setting video and then image stabilization turned on. Kind of walking down these steps not too carefully. Bouncing around a lot. See how good that feature does. So hopefully that gives you a pretty good idea what you can expect quality wise from the camera here and audio wise as well. Um, this camera does have a pretty nice feature. You can hook up an external microphone so if you do want some better audio quality that's all dependent on the microphone you use at that point so that's a nice feature. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps somebody. Please don't forget to click that like button, hit the subscribe button, click that little notification bell, and leave a comment down below if you have any questions or comments, concerns. Thanks for watching. You can check out some of my other videos right here, and if you want to, you can subscribe by clicking here.